So we are still here at TCT 2017 with BCN3D and their new Sigmax. Yeah, what, what is this? Well, this is uh, the new product to, to complete the range of products from BCN3D. Obviously, it's, in, it's an evolution of the previous Sigma. And well, it's focused to a more professional and demanding customers. So, well, it includes new new features that we, we think will be very well received by the market. All right, so let's let's go over those real quickly. So, obviously, this thing is wider than the standard Sigma, and it's got two heated beds in here, so it's it's exactly twice as wide, right? But that's not the only feature. Yeah, uh, we are taking profit of the Edex architecture, so now you can print with both toolheads simultaneously. So you can print exactly the same model in duplication mode or the model and its symmetrical part in mirror mode. So well, th therefore you are uh, having the twice the, the printing capacity. As long as you're just using a single material, yeah. yeah. But dual material printing is still a thing. You can still do two different colors or two different uh, materials or PLA plus PVA, right? It's, it's, on that front, it is just a larger Sigma, right? There, there are no features getting lost. Yeah, yeah. For, for those people that they need to print bigger parts, yeah, it's, it's exactly the same Sigma than before, but with the double printing volume. For those people demanding a bigger machine to print their parts with soluble supports, for example, the, the Sigma doubles the, the printing volume of the previous Sigma. And for those people uh, who require a more productive uh, 3D printer, or well, the Sigma is, a, is a, an affordable, affordable solution. And what, what you have on here is, a, is an acrylic shroud. That is not going to be standard. That is an upgrade feature, right? Yeah. And that's simply for ABS, etc., right? Yeah, for ABS and PC and all that materials that require a more controlled environment. So it's a... Uh, it's an optional upgrade. But there are two small upgrades hiding in this machine and in the entire ecosystem. One you mentioned were the extruders, right? Yeah, um, since the, this machine is focused to more professional public, um, and for, for that kind of uh, segment of the market, they require a higher uh, reliability of, of the machines. We are introducing a Bontech dual drive gears, so it will be a major improvement in, in terms of reli reliability, no matter the, the filament you're printing. And also the, the software. We have developed a custom version of Cura, and we have included the mirror and duplication modes. So easily the customer, just in few clicks, can, can print in mirror and duplication modes. Okay. And the Cura you mentioned, that is not based on the old Cura 15 anymore. That is now based on Cura 2.7. Has that been challenging to, to implement? Well, of course, we, we don't have uh, very big structures of, of engineers. We are uh, right now in a stage of development and we are uh, hiring new people. And of course, developing new things that you previously were not used to, it's, it's always complicated, but we ran a lot of, of tests and, and yeah, we are pretty confident with the, the final result. And of course, this is just a starting point and we will keep on working on develop new features for, especially for our products. So you did mention that the uh, Sigmax now does the duplication mode, which we're seeing now, or the mirror mode, which is just the two hardens moving in opposite directions, right? Um, and that, of course, requires a bit of hardware tuning to get everything leveled. Before you were able to use the, the software leveling, now we need hardware. Um, how is that working out? Well, we uh, were trying to, to make the, the process as simple for the user as possible. So we developed uh, some firmware features to automatically uh, make sure that both toolheads are printing at the same level. Um, but of course, only rely on, on firmware. Sometimes it's not the, the most optimal solution. For those people demanding a highly productive printer, uh, printing a rough maybe makes no sense. So we suggest for those people demanding uh, to print um, very frequently with mirror or duplication modes, to install tiny shims is a is an assisted uh, process via the LCD screen, so it's very easy. It takes only three four minutes and saves a lot of, of yeah. time. And I, I gotta say, I, I did like on, on the original Sigma R17. I did like the assistants a lot that just tell you how many clicks to to turn each screw, and I'm thinking it's it's very much in the same style um, that you're doing with the hardware leveling yeah. now. Totally yes. So the Sigma X is twice as wide as the Sigma R17. Is it also going to be twice as expensive? Well, not twice as expensive. It will be priced at 3,695 euros. It's a bigger machine, but not only bigger, it includes new features. So we believe the, the increase of the price tag is reasonable.
And some of those features like the, the Bontech extruders are over time going to migrate down to the R17, right? Yeah, we are studying the, this option for, for future upgrades. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.